happy monday we're back doing one of these welcome to another i think actually quite chaotic week in my life this week not gonna lie but there's a lot of fun stuff that's gonna happen this week as well there will be some packing there will be sports day there will be working from home there will be working in the office obviously first thing i do in the morning is making my way to my coffee machine i'm not gonna make my way to the living room because i'm gonna find my sweater oh i need to pop in some oh no there's one left there I love my vanilla espresso. I have found my sweater, I have my coffee. Now going towards my workstation area in the living room. It's actually quite early still. I still have like half an hour left before my official workday starts, I suppose. And there is some things I still need to do, like personal things. So I am gonna grab my personal laptop as well. And then I'll be stuck in meetings for a little bit. I also feel like today, autumn really did start because it's like so rainy and so dark and so gray. And I turn on the light in my work area to like make sure that there is like light i'm just gonna have a chocolate because i still have some left and sip my coffee and write some emails and do some orders for all of the building work that i'm doing okay so i have placed some orders i've placed a screw fix order i needed to place and i found out you cannot actually get propane delivered because it's probably like a restricted item similarly like i want to get like a new like blaster board knife type situation thingy like a little like hand saw like a screwdriver type handle saw, if that makes sense. I don't know what they're called. Also, I cannot get those delivered because it's an age-restricted product. So I need to figure it out. All that's left is a B&Q order for wood. I have to settle on some things. I love the fact that that B&Q was so smart in the internet era and bought DIY.com. It's genius. It's probably like a domain that's worth so much money. But that aside, I need to figure out some wood, which I probably am not gonna get delivered or I should get it delivered to the shop and pick it up on a weekend. Let's see if I can get it delivered. Probably not, but we'll see. I have done some initial work and I didn't submit the B&Q order because I there is a couple of things I need to pick up but some stuff that needs to be delivered at home and I'm not really at home. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna park that. Right now I'm enjoying a second cup of coffee. I still didn't even have time to grab a chocolate, which I'm gonna do in a bit. I have my first meeting in four minutes. And I did some prep for it and it's just a massive work stream that's gonna kick off. So I'm like, you know, in like an area of business that I really don't know anything about. Well, I know a bit, but not like, I'm like at the tip of the iceberg, if that makes sense. Like there is so much stuff that I'm like uncovering and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this is humongous. It's a humongous project. I am excited about it, don't get me wrong. I'm very excited about it. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that meeting. It's gonna be a long meeting. It's gonna an hour and a half uh, but hopefully it's going to be a fruitful meeting i don't really know what to expect from it though but you know we'll see but i'm going to use my final three minutes to have a chocolate like i said there is not a whole lot left but i feel intrigued by the, the little bar i'm gonna give this one a go it's okay nothing special really just like a chocolate truffle filling i suppose maybe a bit more caramelly than i don't know it's okay it's not my favorite but it's chocolate it is 3 30 and i realized i really haven't checked in at any point so i had my very long meeting in the morning which was actually very very helpful it was an incredibly helpful meeting incredible like information overload like start of a new project the people talking you through things i'm like i don't know anything about this part of the business now i need to learn like everything in like an hour that was the vibe but it was really cool really interesting we actually were going to have some builders over and they actually showed up earlier than we expected by like 10 minutes or like 15 minutes and i couldn't open the door because we planned with them to show up after my meeting finished so I, I was sitting here and i just had the people knocking on my door and ringing my doorbell and i was like i can't open the door right now i'm still in this meeting so i was texting my husband and he fortunately was working from home so he, he let them in and he explained to them what was going on blah blah, blah. and then i finished my work and then i also went up to look at it because we had a bit of a, um, an issue because my neighbor did some work to his house and their builders essentially took off our LED flashing. Either way, long story short, they fixed it. I'm happy with it now. It's all good. I just don't want to have a damn wall. That's everything. In the meantime, while they were doing that upstairs, I was still walking downstairs and my husband was kind of more keeping an eye on them because he's sitting closer to them than I was. So yeah, that's what happened. And essentially I didn't really have time to have lunch. I just had lunch whilst in another meeting. It's been a quite a chaotic, very busy one day, but a good busy. Again, not like an annoying overpressured busy but a good busy we like a good busy in terms of lunch my husband actually went out and got a baguette so just like bread 
essentially <laughs> oops and i just broke off a piece and dipped it in like some olive oil with some salt it's not the healthiest meal ever but who cares and i still have way too many dashes at home so i had a lemon dash in the afternoon i'm gonna finish up some work because it's now 3 30 so I still have some bits that sometimes i can do sometimes i can spend on some work I'm getting some stuff done which is good because i don't have any more meetings today so that's nice so i can just actually crack on i'm actually quite tired <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie it's been it's been a quite a, a mentally intensive day like it's been a lot of new information which always it tends to be a bit tiring i'm done with work yay 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 okay that was a bit too enthusiastic okay let's go upstairs and do some measuring because there are some things i wanted to measure because i was having a think earlier today i was like i need to do some thinking which is fine but i do need to like do it Welcome in one of many hobby areas that I now have in this house since I'm renovating a house. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know that, I am renovating a house. Don't ask me how this happened by myself. It's fun. It's fun. But yeah, I had a loo query because that's my waste pipe for my loo. I want a loo here. I'm going to build a contraption for it because obviously there's a window there. Uh, and I'm not planning on removing the window because... I, I just can't be bothered. So it's gonna be like a storage thing along here behind the bath, which you can reach from the bath, if that makes sense. Essentially, it's gonna be like a, a dust gathering situation. That's what it's gonna be. But yeah, I was just kind of thinking about the projection of the loo, because I need to decide <laughs> on the loo, I suppose. My brain is literally doing like plumbing rerouting and whatnot. Because the thing is, I wanna have a toilet that's like a back to wall toilet so that you don't see any like pipe works or whatever, because we had this one showing prior and i thought it was gross but not just that also the whole cleaning it just makes so much more sense however i'm gonna lose so much space by having to pull my toilet forward i'm all that space that i'm losing behind there i'm gonna lose head up towards my vanity and my loo will stick out until like this point so this will be the only clearance that i then have and for reference this is my foot so that's not a whole lot of clearance <laughs> oh god well the conclusion is flexi pipe it and hope for the best Oh god, oh god. Despite it being bendy, it goes down. The offset is quite a bit, so I feel like it should be fine. You know what? We'll find out. If it's not fine, then I'm not going to be happy because I'm going to have to do some fixing it up later, but I feel like the offset will actually be fine. Welcome in the world of plumbing. I have made the executive decision to go to screw fix because I'm just staring at my bathroom, like looking at things, being like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, and like kind of like, mm hmm. And it's going to be rainy tomorrow, and it's going to be rainy on Wednesday, and on Thursday, I'm not going to have time to go pick it up, and on Friday, I'm going to be stressed because I'm going to leave on holiday soon after so i'm thinking you know what i'm just gonna do this right now and then i can just take it off my list for the rest of the week we just go to screw fix and pick up my order that i essentially placed yesterday so yeah i'm just gonna go do that it's like a 20 minute walk um, to get there and back another 20 minutes so it will be quite nice and the weather is still lovely now so i think i'm just gonna do that <laughs> Got the goose. i just came back from the loveliest screw fix I'll give you a bit of a haul in a second, but first I'm gonna try a beer because my lovely husband actually gave me a beer from like this Wimbledon brewery and I'm actually quite keen on giving it a try. Also in the meantime, I'm gonna bring some, oops, dirty plates from yesterday to the kitchen. But this is it, it's a Wimbledon IPA and I'm honestly very intrigued. I have never seen this beer before in my life and I do pride myself in being a beer lover. So we're gonna see how it tastes. So we have a grapefruity IPA. What does it say? Citrus, floral, spice, rich fruit cake, dry, bittersweet. I think grapefruit is kind of all of those things in a way. It's not tart. It's not necessarily tart. Either way, it's nice. Screw fix. Screw fix, screw fix, screw fix. I have a whole bag full of screw fix. I will put in timestamps if you're not interested in all the DIY stuff. You can just skip it. First, we have a extractor van for the bathroom. Woo! because I feel like if I'm not going to buy it, I'm going to forget it. And then I'm going to be like, shit, I need to install that. Then we have 100 clips, copper pipe clips for 15 mil pipes. And we have another 100 for 22 mil pipes. And then we have a serrated kind of like sewing knifey thing to like cut through stuff, which will be very helpful. Then I have wipes big wipes because we like big wipes because they clean stuff and the dental ones they're, they're they're good but like these will last a bit longer than the dental ones the dental ones are too delicate for some of the grime i create 
And last but not least, we have a propane tank to soldier. So yeah, that's all I thought. That was the whole. So I'm just gonna, I wanna say watch some telly, but I actually should put some things together for tomorrow because I am gonna go figure skating and I'm also gonna go to work. So it's gonna be a new thing for me. I have never done this pre-work in my life ever. I used to figure skate, it's my hobby, but I don't really like do it anymore, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I figured I'd go and pick it up since I went on this adult figure skating camp last week and I actually quite enjoyed skating again and my friend convinced me to go and now I'm like, fair, fair, I'll go, I'll do it again. I'm actually excited for it, I found a coach, did the whole thing. I actually need to just grab some stuff to like put it together because I'm, my alarm is going to go off at 5am in the morning so I suppose I want to have everything ready. So I should probably do that first before I wind down on the couch. All the bags are packed and I have put my clothing together so I can now sit down on the couch and enjoy my beer and watch some telly. I'm probably going to watch the Amber Heard, no not Amber Heard, the um, similar thing but with Taylor Swift, <laughs> that one on Discovery. I haven't watched it yet. I started it and then I just started doing something else and I got distracted. So I think I might just do that until the husband's done. So it's actually 8.30 at night. I've been, I've essentially just watched the first episode of the Taylor Swift thing. I am so tired. Either way, the husband came down and he was like, well, I don't think I'll be ready anytime soon to have dinner and I'll probably need to have dinner in front of my desk. So I am gonna, whoops, sorry, I'm just trying to like, Clean up some stuff at the same time. So he was like, please just go ahead, cook dinner. Oh my god, it's really not going well. I'm like tossing mayo around. Aye, aye, aye. Either way, I got this steak. So this is what we bought yesterday, actually, because we were planning on having steak yesterday. But then, for some reason, we... Well, not for some reason. It was my husband who went, like, who was like, actually, I want to have burgers, and I didn't really oppose to it in any shape or form. So we went ahead and bought burgers, but we still have some tiny red peppers left so i'm gonna make some peppers and steak i suppose i think that's dinner you know what i think i might add in an onion as well because i have one so why not So I've got the onion, I've got the um, pepper, and the beef is like marinating. So I suppose I'm just gonna cook this up because the beef obviously has to be a bit quicker than this, I suppose. I don't know, we'll see. That's a lot of vegetables. It's uh, vegetable central. So I'm nearly done. I know it looks like some horrible dish in a very bad restaurant from like the 90s, but you know what? It's fine. That's my husband's one. I checked in one of the butters that came with it. He really wants a steak roll, like, the husband's now done too so i'm gonna bring this up to him i suppose get another stare at my gorgeous 90s plate it's like 10 30 i think it's time to go to bed not you guys watching american football but yeah it's bedtime it's so fun to watch but it is bedtime it's bedtime good morning from the coffee machine it is 5 30 a.m in the morning i'm gonna make myself a coffee i didn't really want to film while i was in bed because my husband was next to me like sound asleep so i wasn't gonna go and wake him up and then i stepped out of bed and i was like it's chilly and i figured i'd just get dressed anyways we're off to the ice skating rink that's what we're doing doing a pre-work workout i have never done this in my life so you're the witness of the first ever one that's happened Happens, but I need some coffee to function <laughs> because it's early. I need to leave in like 10 minutes, but one thing I still need to do is tape my feet because the one funny thing about figure skaters is some people skate with loads and loads of pads in the skates. I tape my feet, but not entirely, just like a part of my arch and my small toe, I don't know, like pinky toe. Either way, I'm gonna go do that. I didn't do that yesterday because otherwise I'd have to sleep with socks on because it otherwise it rubs off in bed. So I, I don't, either way, I'm gonna tape my feet and I'm gonna drink my coffee. So my feet are taped um, and I need to leave in a bit, but I also still want to brush my teeth and I don't want to do that pre-coffee because then my coffee will taste funny. But yeah, I'm going to brush my hair, put it up in a pony, probably spray in some Matisse. Actually, I did it now if I want to do that. My hair is also still in my sweatshirts. <laughs> this, when I'm spraying this on my hair, it means that my hair needs a washing. 
And as we all know, I don't like washing my hair. I just hop in the shower and just do a quick rinse and then get out of the shower again. I know, that's me. I don't know. And then when I need to wash my hair, I need to stay in there and my hair will be wet and it stays wet, which in winter is more of an issue than summer because it actually makes me feel chilly. I don't know, it's a weird one. But yeah, let me just brush this out for a bit and then make a high pony. And then I need to leave in a bit. And then I just need to leave like five minutes. So I try to brush my teeth and grab my shoes. I don't know what time it is now because I'm filming. <laughs> Living life on the edge. It is 9.30 and I just got home. I really need to go to the bathroom and I'm slightly tipsy, but oh my God, so much happened today. I just need to go pee and then I'll fill you in. Cool, I'm back. I honestly don't know if I should work my way backwards or like chronologically. I'm gonna run my way backwards. I just got home, I had leaving drinks from I want to say probably one of my kind of best friend colleagues if you can phrase it that way like there's always some people in your office you'll get close with and you actually be friends and you go hang out with outside of the office and she is one of those colleagues and she's actually leaving which honestly I am really sad about and I'm also really happy for her at the same time because she is moving on to something that's actually a better thing for her yet it does make me sad to not have her around the office and kind of just have a laugh with or you know if you just come out of like a very stressy meeting which you're inevitably whatever job you work you're always gonna have and you can just kind of like de-stress together like she definitely worked in a like different part of the business than I did but like you can just have that chat and yes I had a bit too many beers but also felt like as a close friend of hers I'm gonna stick around her leaving drinks and I'll be one of the last people to leave I'm definitely not gonna be one of the few people who just you know still buy have a drink and then go so that's why i'm tipsy prior to that i actually had an incredibly busy day at work my day started out actually quite chill and then increasingly got very very stressful because apparently i have a very important meeting on friday where i will be presenting to like our important people within like my local business essentially so it cannot really get any more senior for me than that and that got thrown on me like midway through today that is very stressful despite being for Friday because pre that actually my morning was actually pretty chill I worked up to the office everything was fine I actually bumped into a colleague on my way into the office because all of a sudden I'm in like a different commute from Streatham to my office which is not my normal commute because I don't live in Streatham and I bumped into a colleague which is lovely I actually got to kind of chat to her a bit more than I usually do which is quite nice and then pre that obviously was at the ice skating rink I did did some skating. I had my first ever interaction with this new coach. I like her. I'm planning on doing more skating with her. Although I have to admit that I will be out of skating for like two weeks because I will be on holiday. But I am planning on picking it up. I was able to ask her some questions because if you're at a new rink, there's always like some kind of like weird things and they all do stuff slightly differently from each other. So it's kind of good to know how these like little things kind of work. And I am also so tired. I'm I'm like tipsy and tired. It's such a bad combination. Either way, that's that. I'm happy with my skating session. It went well. I definitely felt it throughout the day. Like when it hit like 3 p.m., I was tired. I was feeling the fact that I woke up at 5 a.m. in the morning. It's definitely something that I need to get used to. I am planning on doing this for a while longer. See how it goes. I, you know what? We'll just see. Either way, long story short, I've been like blabbering for way too long. But my dinner, my lunch, by the way, I had toast. I didn't snap a photo also i didn't really show what i was wearing today i'm just honestly i was wearing a blouse for most of the day and a day i just put this on because i got a bit chilly and i'm just wearing jeans it's nothing <laughs> nothing special that's what i've been wearing today sorry for like the lack of imagery i did grab a starbucks after i got into the office but i bumped into colleague into this colleague and then i walked with her into the office and then i changed in the loo and then i walked out again and grabbed a coffee either way chaotic and then all hell broke loose well not necessarily first couple of hours were chill and then i got 
at all that I had this very important meeting. But my dinner will be all right, which is a kind of like a fancy, it's not necessarily, is it a fancy gills? I would say it's similar to gills. It's definitely branding itself as more French, but there is this app which is called Too Good To Go. If you're from like London, you probably know it, or like bigger cities in the UK where you can just buy like leftovers from different places, which I did for this particular bakery. So let's do a little bit of a unboxing, I suppose, of my Too Good To Go. It was like three pounds. Everything is left open, it just dip it up. It tends to be a very good deal. Let's dig into it. I think like the first obvious one is the baguette. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Oh God, I should probably just pop it in the oven. I don't know, but I got a whole baguette, which is lovely. Then I have pastries. And then I have, last but not least, a sandwich. Yeah, that's a sandwich. What's on the sandwich? That's the question. Lettuce, chicken? I don't know, but it looks good. This is only my dinner. I was hoping for a sandwich. It's like £3.50 for all of this is a really good deal. Will I eat all of this? I don't know. I'll, I'll have the sandwich. I'll have some of the pastries. I don't know if I'll have the baguette. But yeah, I can't complain for £3.50. I'm sorry you're stuck with Slightly Tipsy Stephanie for tonight. I think that will be it. I'm probably just going to watch some telly. And I'm just literally going to go to bed and just like fall asleep. <laughs> I am so tired. Good morning, it is Wednesday and it's so sunny outside. It's so different from like gloomy yesterday. Look at the sun, it's so, the sky is like blue. The sun makes me happy. I have to admit that I have been awake for a little bit. I didn't see my husband coming home yesterday night because I went to bed after I washed my hair, I actually hopped in the shower and I just fell asleep and he didn't get home until like midnight. So I was already asleep by then. I'm gonna go into the office today. It's a bit late. It's already like five to eight, I think. I need to actually get going because my normal train i'm not gonna make so i was aiming for the train after that okay it's like oh, 15 past <laughs> i need to like go this is the time that i have to leave to catch this train i'm just like tying the laces on my dogs hoping that they won't get loose oh god eee! probably have to run a little bit to get to the train on time i don't know how i pulled this off to be fair to so still make this train because i was being so slow you know sometimes you just have those mornings that you're like just being incredibly slow also one of my dogs has more laces done up than the other i need to like fix this but i can do that at the station fortunately my bag is still back from yesterday like my white bag so i'll just grab that and run i have my makeup in there so i can do that in the office i'm gonna bring my earrings with me do those on the way to grab my keys and now i'm leaving and I am home. It is so cold outside. It's like the first kind of days of autumn like setting in and setting in quite aggressively. I'm not gonna lie, it's been chilly. But also bright sunlight and a gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow outside of my office, which is lovely. I'm gonna undo my shoes and I'll show you what I got from the grocery store. Okay, so little haul. Pasta, tacos, tomatoes, pichettes, brazola, because I like my meat. Grear cheese, which is my favorite cheese. More tomatoes and some double cream. I am going to make soup, which is what I sometimes do. I'm just going to chop up all these vegetables. I'm going to chuck them in a tray and then I'm going to chef them in the oven and then I'm going to mix it all up and I'm going to chuck in some double cream and I'm going to chuck in some grated cheese and then that's dinner <laughs> and i'll have a snack of brazola on the side and i'm not sure if i'm going to like use all of these tomatoes i figured if i'm going to have some left over i can have those on friday like kind of snacking throughout the day so i was like it's fine i'd rather just have a bit too much and then just have something to nibble on on friday so let's get some chopping however first i saw that there was a package outside of my house and <laughs> i am a bit worried about this package because it is supposed to be a tile sample and Oh, it's actually not a tile sample. Interesting. Huh. You know, sometimes surprises are uh, in an unexpected way. Because it was like, it's a bit too... It's a bit too wrinkly to be like a tile sample, but no, this is actually perfect. This is a waste sink thingy, which I'm gonna use in the floor in the bathroom, which is probably a very weird place to use it, but I wanna have kind of like a, if my bathtub's overflow doesn't work, slash if my washing machine breaks down, I want the water to have somewhere to drain and not just to like flood into my house, if that makes sense. So 
floor drain hidden floor drain beneath the vanity that's the plan so this is what it now looks like and these tomatoes are so so good i'm probably gonna add a couple more because i will be i will be snacking yeah i will put some just olive oil normally i put some garlic in i don't really feel like doing that today so i'm just gonna put some salt pepper olive oil i'm gonna wait for my oven to fully heat up because i did turn it on but it's not hot yet and then i'm gonna grate the gruyere i'm gonna grate it with the KitchenAid. So, oops, apparently my light just goes on every now and then, but I'm filming either way. This is what it looks like now. So it just got out of the oven. It's all like slightly roasted. It's all done. I'm going to scoop it out with spoon, transfer it into a pan, and then I'm going to do a stick blender in it and just essentially blend it to like a smooth consistency. And that's what I will call soup. <laughs> and I'll chuck in some double cream, but I will check in with you when I'm at that stage. And in the heavy cream, this is what it looks like now. It's so much more yellow in the video than it is in real life it's very orange but i'm just gonna heat it up again because i don't know what it is with me and dairy but i always feel like if there is dairy in it i should probably cook it again i don't know if that's like a thing but something in my brain says that it is and then i'll just have it for dinner that's it oh and chicken some cheese when i'm putting it in a bowl good morning it is thursday it is officially sports day at my office but i am very very early because i am going to the ice skating rink it's less early than the time prior because Actually, oh my god, I'm like, I can't do, I can't multitask because the sports day starts a bit later. But yeah, I am just taping my feet, which I do when I skate. And I'm a bit in a hurry because I have to leave in like two minutes. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I should probably get going. That's one sock. I need to buy new tape because this tape is nearly done. So the trains are all in a mess, essentially. I just got back from sports day and I'm literally sitting in my bed at 6 20 p.m. I had a couple of pints. I've had so much alcohol this week. It's like not acceptable the last two days, like or last three days, because it was Tuesday and Thursday. I'm like, either way, I'm now in my bed and I'm gonna watch some telly. I have whipped out a big screen. I'm gonna watch the I Cat Cat's Eye Cat's Eye Netflix thingy. Cause I'm like, my brain is just empty. I just can't. It was a lot of fun. Like, don't get me wrong, sports day was fun. It was inflated balls we had rounders egg and spoon to be fair the only thing that we won my team was the egg and spoon race we were pros at the egg and spoon race anything else <laughs> not so much but the egg and spoon race oh and we went to the dud dodgiest pub ever which is like magic garden near battersea from the outside we were like and then we went and then we thought it was close and then it actually was open and there's pianos everywhere and it was actually quite a chill vibe and we had a good time in that pub but from the outside we were like but everything was fine in the end. Good pub. Would highly recommend for large groups on like weird days because they have loads and loads of space and they have outside heaters, which is quite a shout. Morning, it is Friday. Yay. It's the end of the week. Last day of work. Oh, I actually do have a very important presentation today that I need to do some work for. I honestly, I'm so tired. I slept so well. Like I was so, so knackered yesterday because of the whole, sorry, what's it called? The whole sports day and everything. I've had such a long week, or at least I feel like I've had such a long week because so much has happened. Like sports in terms of like figure skating sports day like some like my friends leaving drinks which feels like ages ago at this point there are so many things that like kick off of a new project like i'm like honestly like so much has happened it's crazy either way i am gonna find some clothing put that on and then i'm gonna go downstairs make myself a coffee and i'm gonna start work i suppose oh my god i'm having such a busy day today with work it's like we have a very important presentation today um, to like the most important people like in my direct business, I suppose. Our deck is in a really good place. Like that's not stress. It's just like getting the last like final things because we only got briefed on this project this week. So it's been a very quick turnaround and we were minus one day because yesterday was sports day. So it's like, <laughs> it's a bit of a craziness to get everything together. And there's been some changes in my teams and there's some things that need to be handed over to other people so it's a bit of a of a stressy one and it's not really a, a calm friday definitely not i ventured out to my dash stash because i still have a dash stash and got that straight in the face um but yeah that's the grapefruit one i got another tile sample sent to me which came through my mailbox today which is good <sighs> a whole saga 
so we had a slide disappearing from the deck and we had the whole shebang and I was like last minute trying to whip this slide back together and then what happened? The meeting got cancelled. Two minutes into the meeting they were like yeah actually it's not gonna work because something else that's quite important is overrunning and I was like no! <laughs> Anyway, the welcome to busy corporate life, I suppose. And sometimes these things happen and I just have to move on. Either way, the deck is done, which is nice. But yeah, if only now no don't need it for like two weeks or something, which is a bit crazy, especially all the last minute stress to get everything sorted. Despite the deck being in a good position, we still had some last minute tweaks and ch and things that needed to happen. But okay, all sorted. I'm done with work. It's 5.30. I'm so, I'm so done with work. Like also my brain, I'm just so done with it. I am gonna just chill. I still need to do some things for my own. Like I need to do, uh, I need to edit my video. I need to do so much stuff. I'm actually quite thirsty. So I'm gonna grab some water and I've been nibbling on some breads because that's what I had for lunch. We got a baguette from like the French bakery and they're like really, really nice baguettes. So I actually like just having them plain or like dipping them in oil or whatever. I'm just gonna do some admin, I suppose. Quite boring. I'm quite tired as well to be fair. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday. I already had a bed. I already got a coffee. I already am sort of dressed and I started cleaning up the hallway, which was a mess because I'm getting a and q delivery. Normally I don't really film on the weekends, but I figured this week, since it's quite a weird week, I was like, I'm just going to extend this into the weekend because also Friday night, we actually, my husband and I decided to go out for dinner and eat in a pub and I failed to film the food. But apart from like the second bit of halloumi that we ordered, but either way, we, that's what we did. Um, today is going to be more of a DIY day. Don't know how much I will film, probably not a whole lot, but yeah. First thing this morning is this B&Q delivery. They called me that they were going to be here in half an hour, which we're now nearing that end of that half hour, so they should be here any minute. So I'm just trying to do some work on a video, which is supposed to go up today, but absolutely is not going to go up today. I apologize. I got some wood delivered. I don't think we'll have like a wood shortage anytime soon to like build stuff. So I did not really check in after I got the B&Q delivery and now it's dinner time. I will give you a quick update on what I did in terms of DIYing over the weekend because I feel like it's going to be like a boring video if I'm going to add that to it. Either way, it's now dinner time. We just sat outside for a little bit. Ugh, I'm so tired. I work so hard. Either way, we have some spinach and beef for dinner and husband is now grabbing some wine. And he will walk in with a nice bottle of red wine and please disregard the mess that is the living room right now. There is the husband with the wine. Good morning. It is in fact Monday. I really didn't film anything on Sunday, but I will show you what I did because that was kind of my plan anyways. I wasn't going to show you like long videos of me DIYing and doing things. Either way, I just wanted to say what I'm doing now because it's currently 8.20 a.m. in the morning and I am starting work, which is a bit early normally. And I've already grabbed my coffee. But I'm heading out today on a trip and yesterday, besides DIY, I also went ahead and packed for two trips, which sounds really odd, but they don't really leave me any time to unpack and repack. So I just pack two bags and one I'll be leaving here so that when I come back on Monday, I can just grab that bag on the same day and go again, which I know is ridiculous, but that's the current plan. So yeah, I am now going to start some work because there's some things that I really need to get done today because it is my last day of work prior to me going on holiday officially tomorrow. But actually, I will be working working from Heathrow for a little bit because British Airways changed my flight. So now I'm on an earlier flight. So we're just gonna have to go with it. So it's 9.30 now and I got my, ooh. Anyway, I got my work done that I needed to get done for 10. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break to just go to the bathroom, that type of thing. Grab some stuff, put some last minute stuff in my bag that I don't need anymore at this point. So just little things like that. And then just brain break really. And then get back to work and grab another coffee. Cause so I am ready to go. Let's do this thing. Packed everything, got all my stuff off to the airport, working from the airport first, but all of that was really fine. But yeah, let's do this thing. I've been to the toilet like three times in the last 30 minutes just to make sure that I really don't have to go. But I'm ready. <laughs> 